हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू यूट्यूब डॉट कॉम ऑब्लिक डॉक्टर वेट चैनल आई एम डॉक्टर पी आर पटेल प्रोफेसर इन हेड वेटरनरी मेडिसिन इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वी विल डिस्कस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बैक्टीरियल डिजीज टिटेनस इन पार्ट फाइव वी विल डिस्कस क्लिनिकल साइंस in dog and cat and men and necropsy finding of tetanus first we see here clinical signs of tetanus in dogs and cats in dogs and cats the symptoms appear in two forms localized form or generalized localized form it will show symptoms only at local parts most of the wound are on the legs so it will show in one leg while in generalized the symptoms are generalized all over the body so symptoms appear in two forms local forms and generalized form in dogs and cats that is different from other animals we will discuss here localized tetanus signs in dog and cat the stiffness and rigidity observed in one leg with a wound on that leg why it is on one leg we have seen in pathogenesis that will when little quantity of neurotoxin is produced by the organism it will absorbed locally by the lord and it reach the spinal cord and manifest only local symptoms but if the quantity of neurotoxin is more then it is absorbed through limb goes to the central nervous system and go to the central uh, produce generalized symptoms the signs may not extend or the sign may extend to opposite limb if the toxin is more if the toxin is even more the stiffness may advance entirely and may to the whole body in this presentation we will discuss generalized tetanus symptoms in dog and cat why it is generalized that also we have told that neurotoxin quantity secretion by the organism is more then it is absorbed through limb go to the circulate to central nervous system and generalized tetanus symptoms the clinical signs become prominent in 10 days of infection the signs are similar to for except that the mouth is partially open while in other the mouth is tightly closed and in dogs the lips are stretched backward because the contraction in muscle completely the dog is more resistant than horse and cat there is hyper activity of the cranial nerve because now the neurotoxin has reached to the central nervous system there is hypersensitivity generalized tetanus symptoms in dog and cat there is a protrusion of third eye this is observed in almost all animal erection of ears again because of the contraction of the muscles wrinkling on the forehead just observed same way in the abyss there is contraction of the muscles so there is wrinkling of the forehead lock jaw the mouth is tightly closed difficult to open the jaw tightly closed because of the trismus and 
spasms of the masseter muscle. But here it will be different from the other animals. In other animals, there is complete lockdown. But in dog, the mouth is partially opened and the lips are retracted back. This is only the difference. Generalized tetanus symptoms in dog and cat. The mouth is partially open and the lips are retracted back quadrally because this tightness of the jaw, difficulty in eating, dysphagia. If the dog and cat eat, there are all the chances to have an aspiration pneumonia because of the contraction of skeletal muscle, stiffness of the gait. Because of the stiffness, the spasmodic contraction of the spinous muscle of back and tail, the tail is out of stress and become straight and stretch. This is also the characteristic. Generalized tetanus signs in dog and cat. The animal find difficulty in getting up and lying down. Ophistotonus is the characteristic of tetanus. There is contraction of the leg and back muscle. So animal fall down. Arching of the back characteristic. The head is stretched backward. Back become arching. The four legs are stretched forward. Hind legs are stretched backward. And the whole body is tight. Of his totonous portion. There is spasms of the laryngeal muscle. So dog may have a, some strange voice because of the fixation of the respiratory muscles, dyspnea, fixation of respiratory muscles involved with the autonomic nervous system. There is respiratory and cardiac failure and due to this there is a death of the animals in five days. As a veterinarians we should know the clinical signs of tetanus in human beings. It is always that there is a rigidity of muscle spasmodic contraction of muscle. All signs are due to spasmodic contraction of muscles in tetanus. Painful paroxysmal spasms of voluntary muscle, characteristic of the tetanus. There is log jaw or trismus because of the spasms of masseter muscle of the jaw. Continue clinical signs in human beings. Spasms of facial muscle. So face looks being anxious or ugly. Spasms of muscles of the neck and neck. Stretching of the whole skeletal muscles of the body. There is arching of the back. The head is retracted back and whole tightness of the whole body that is the characteristic symptoms of the ophistotonus in tetanus. So ophistotonus is observed in all animals and human beings also. A characteristic symptoms of the terminal stage of the tetanus. Necropsy finding of a case of tetanus. There is no characteristic necropsy finding. 
entity the clinician can find presence of injury or wound in the carcass because wound or injury is the cause of the tetanus the rigor mortis set up very quickly because there is damage to the muscle fast body contraction congestion of spinal cord medulla and nerves that is due to neurotoxin wherever this neurotoxin reach in nervous system there is congestion so congestion of spinal cord medulla and the nerves necropsy finding of a tetanus the lung shows hyperemia and that is because of the asphyxia because of the spasm respiratory muscles larynx mouth muscles so all the chances of infect asphyxia is there fixes of respiratory muscles the skeletal muscle shows hemorrhages loss of pressure and atrophy of the myocardium that is because of the damage to the muscle and majority of the cases are showing wound because this tetanus is due to wound or get the bacter in wound produce neurotoxin and there is tetanus so clinician may find wound on the necropsis friends we have seen we have seen in this presentation the tetanus signs in dog cat and man and necropsy finding of a tetanus case requested to share this information to veterinarians veterinary students and to promote the channel subscribe the channel thank you very much for observing this video